What's goody, everybody? It's full time trip. We're back in the building for another match review, player raise, whatever you want to call it, man. We have gone to the G Tech Community Stadium. We have faced Brentford away and we have beaten them three goals to zero with the goals coming from William Saliba, Gabriel Jesus, and Fabio Vieira. But hey, listen, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of the match. Hit that notification bell. It's been going up, bro. We bounced back, bro. We bounced back in a very, very strong fashion. Uh, this game was domination, bro. Let's get right into it, man. It, it was domination. It, 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 I feel like in uh, nearly every sense of the term, bro, like we just we just looked, we just imposed ourselves upon them. Like they, again, they, they, they tried to press high. They tried to press heavy with like numbers of five or six and many spells throughout the game, but we just nullified it. Like nine times out of 10, it was nullified. Uh, our, our passing, the interplay, just how we conducted ourselves this game was... Honestly, it was it was such a class performance. It was such a class performance. And I I, I kind of talked about it on uh, a TikTok. Shout out to my TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I might drop a link for something in the description below. But uh, literally, it was like it, it was in the ballpark of a Man City. Literally, people come to press. Sometimes they press Man City, but the passing, the level of possession on the ball, it just renders that useless. It's useless, man. And they just tie again. They tire you out. They make you run. And when the time when the time comes to put in that killer ball, the killer pass, the score. It happens. It was ruthless. It was good today, man. It was so, so good today. I can't, I feel so good <laughs> off of that win. And again, people was getting slapped up by Brentford. For Brent, Brentford aren't a slouch team. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they're not going to be the biggest, you know, the fish in the pond right now. But you got to beat what's in front of you. And Brentford are not a bad team at all because they've been turning some sides over. You know what I mean? But the, but the, the way we went about this was so, so, it was so good. It was so good from top to bottom, man. Like, I don't even really want to give people ratings this time around, bro. But I, I'll get to that in a second. But just to go through kind of like the team performances of what I thought of everybody, um, just check the lineups. Ramsdale, I mean, Ramsdale was, again, had nothing much to work with, honestly. If you look at the, the whole span of the game, there was probably about two set pieces. Now, one set piece and two headers. And probably one set piece and two crosses that came in that were kind of relatively something he had to deal with. There was that one little handball situation as well at the end of the game. But uh, aside from that, what else? what else did he have to do? What else do you have to do, man? That's an eight. Distributed the ball well. Again, kept kept things quiet when he needed to. You know, called for the ball. Kept things rotating in possession. Uh, again, what else? What else do you need from him? What else do you need? Uh, I want to give a shout out actually to Kieran Tierney out of the back line first and foremost because he again coming back from a, a, a really big injury like that it's hard and especially when Zinchenko was doing well. A lot of people was like, yo, I don't know, he might have to ride his bench. Blah blah blah. But when he's come in. He's performed. He's actually performed very, very well. And again, he's he's picking up the pace. He's starting to get back to the level that we know he can really, again, ascend to. And just he was he 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 didn't put a foot wrong today, in my opinion. I don't think he really put a foot wrong. You know, maybe maybe like one or two minor things here and there, but definitely like you know is wiped away in the overall look of his performance today. Like he he he's filled in really well. And again, I I love it because it's the competition and it's again the variety of skill set. If we need more defensive cover in the game. We're going to try and offer Kieran Tierney. If you want to, again, impose ourselves with more possession when Zinchenko's fit, we can have Zinchenko. But then there's people who can fill both capacities, you know what I'm saying, in some in some sense of the word. So Tierney, uh, again, really, really respect to him. Um, ben White, again, so good today. Uh, was <laughs> like his crossing ability is like is 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 getting better. I don't know if y'all peep it, but some of these like low crosses and stuff like that, I don't know, but They've been getting, they've been getting up there, bro. They've been starting to get pretty decent. So I mean, Ben White is Ben White at right back. He's been fitting. It's like a, a hand to a glove. He's been taking it on really, really well. Um, shout outs to him as well. Um, Gabriel, I do want to big up uh, for a quick second because again, a lot of people, myself included, were saying, listen, out of the back line, you know, maybe he's the one that that might have a mistake in him or might, you know, might have the worst performances out of the set because sometimes you know maybe a little bit you know, pressure on him technically, but. I want to say today, he did not put a foot wrong. He won everything in the air. He was so imposing. His presence in terms of, uh, you know, again, not not shying away from any challenges, not shying away from any tackles, being strong, you know, in, in, in aerial duels. It's so, so key. He's not afraid of that, bro. He's an imposing. He's a monster. He's a monster, bro. And it's just, it's so good to see just that level of, uh, of just you putting you, you you have the impetus to go forward and again just really really put yourself uh you know put pressure on the strikers uh, put pressure on Ivan Tony because him and Saliba was keeping that man shh. it was stone silent from Tony bro and uh, listen there was no good kickabouts with the boys today for him I'm telling you that right now it was really really good from Gabriel Saliba what more do I got to say about him he's the best young center back in the world 
best young center back in the world on planet Earth. Not Earth 2, not Earth 3, not Earth 4, not Earth 616, not Earth 1999999 in the MCU with Miss Marvel. No, I'm talking about this one. We live in right now. He's the best young center back on the planet. He is on route to honestly be a top contender. Already the top contender for young player of the player of the season of the prime. That's already, that's already been established. We already know this. But again, he adds goals to his game. Again, good header right over Ivan Tony. My man couldn't even do nothing. Again, Marshall Tony kept him quiet, scored on him. You know what I'm saying? It was so, so good in possession, so nifty. Uh, he's he's just such a good player. He's he's only, what, 21? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that he's 21, man. But again, another fantastic game from him. Um, did I miss anybody at the back line? No, no, no. Okay, cool. We're going to move forward. Uh, I will say this right now. When we play, when we play Thomas Partey, we do play play our best football. It's it's hard uh, again to replace his presence, especially when again we play the way how we play. It just gives so many so people so much more license to get forward. And Grant Jaka in, in, in a you know also in a sense we'll get to him in a second. Uh, but yeah, part Partey again was was really really good today, and I feel like that's. It, it, you just felt the difference. I feel like it compared to some other people, especially off the ball in certain situations. So, uh, really, uh, good stuff. Good stuff again. Uh, let's see. Moving down, uh, I want to uh, skip around a little bit before we get to the cap. But, uh, um, but Kai Osaka again, his worst season ever. His worst season. But he got two assists today. He's literally what, like, like what, seven goals and assists in how many games? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. He's been contributing when he is not the star of the show right now. The star boy is still putting up, you know, good numbers. He's still putting up ridiculous numbers, but he's, he, he doesn't have to carry all the weight on his back in terms of, oh, he has to, you know, progress the ball, pick it up from deep, do that. He can, he can fit more into his role. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have to, again, put the weight of the entire team on his shoulders at this point, which is such a, such a delight. It's such a good, good feeling to not be able to, again, have all of our hopes rest on one person. So, again, we have different weapons. We have different systems. But, again, still, he's just such a dangerous player. You have to still commit bodies to him, and that opens up the rest of the game for all of us. And, again, he's still able to put up numbers. He's still putting up numbers. He's still putting up assists, bro. You can't say nothing to him. Nobody can say nothing to, to, to Bukai Osaka. Nothing will change my mind. Nothing, bro. He, he, he's still the star boy that we know and love, bro. Just watch when it's time for him to turn up for a moment because he usually does. You'll watch that. Um, moving down to Martinelli. Martinelli had a, had a had a good game as well. I feel like out of the uh, out of the midfield players, I feel like uh, he missed a couple of chances. But again, the energy work rate, just everything was there like he usually is. It's the consistency that I'm seeing. I just want to see more, a bit more bite in some of the finishes. There was a ball that uh, Jaka provided him, and he kind of like fell over on. I think it was first half, but uh, I think it was like the first few minutes actually. But it, it was just again a really good performance from him as well. Um, just wanted to say who is next. Uh. What is it? Fabio Vieira. Let me talk about Fabio Vieira really, really quickly, man. This guy, this guy, bro. <laughs> he's so good. He's so good, man. This he's he's actually like press proof. He's low key press proof. And it makes no sense to me how like how good I can like he looks, bro. Like I, just to materialize is just just see what I'm seeing. Like there were just some parts where he started again. He, he favors that right hand side where he drifts into. But it just he just moves so so well again when the pressure's on him just pick pop gone you know what i'm saying he's just so confident in himself and his ability and <laughs> speaking of ability you see this man strike a ball to nine iron to flat right hand side post in easy money this guy he's gonna be such a good player for us bro y'all can see it but i don't want to hear none of this oh he's better than odegaard so he should start over odegaard odegaard should be benched i don't want you to um um again big up big up of uh, Vieira at the expense of odegaard let's not do that because I feel like, and I feel like a lot of people are noticing the pattern that they could play together in some instances. I think they really could play together in some in some cases. And I think that might be an actually very dangerous combination. Again, them being able to, <laughs> I don't know how the positioning would be in the, the formation, but them being able to, you know, again, have a decent uh, like a carry of play where Odegaard may carry the ball or a good ping from the right-hand side from Fabiera into the box, that could be something dangerous. That could be something real dangerous. And that's another form of weapon we have Again, just with that combination and that partnership. So don't don't knock one player at the expense of what you know what I'm saying at, at the at the uplift of another. Don't don't big up another player if you're gonna take down another one, man. Let's 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 really think about this, bro. Because odegaard has been nothing but class. You know what I'm saying? He, he's been really picking up. And it's despite the injury, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna be a big, big player for us this season. Uh on to Gabriel Jesus. Um, listen, Gabriel Jesus, what can I say about him, man? Like he 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 earned his goal. He earned his goal today. He worked again so so hard just to harass people. Like he wins so much of his duels. He just 
he's such an active player. Like, it's such a pain in the ass to play against him, I bet. It's ridiculous. He's so, so good. Again, makes life so difficult. Uh, and he's just all over the place. He's all over the pitch. You know what I'm saying? When we get to start getting to that final third, he's all over the place, making things happen. You know what I'm saying? Just connecting play so, so much. Just that level of activity is, is world class. I don't care what anybody says. That level of activity and being active around and still being able to get yourself in positions to score is world class. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's a world-class player yet because he's. I'm, I think he's on the way, but he just has those qualities that really show you can put out so much in 90 minutes and you can be a danger for 90 minutes straight. There is no being phased out of the game. There is nothing like that. You can make something happen yourself by scoring or you can set something up by connecting with other people on the pitch. So again, he's good. But I want to talk about real quick, uh, my man of the match today, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. This man probably has the greatest redemption arc in uh in the club's history, or he or he may be building the greatest redemption arc in the club's history. I don't think it's finished just yet until you know some silverware, some prominent silverware really comes our way. But Granite Jaka, man, Granite Jaka. For the ratings today, I'm giving everybody a nine. I'm getting I'm giving everybody a nine. I can get to that, bro. Mikel, his tactics, you know what I'm saying? Again, tactics stuff, silence Brentford. It was mad quiet from them all around. It was good. The fans again were fantastic give the minimum nine uh I, I don't care about the ref he's not getting rated but Brandon Shaka is all he'll also get a nine but he's the man of the match he's the man of the match bro I <laughs> it's 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 crazy to just think how how much flack he got at one point in his career how many mistakes were made uh, you know what I'm saying from from his from his way of playing and how he was in the system and just it, it just turned sour so so fast again I, and I'm I I think a previous I'm definitely I'm definitely somebody who slated him when, you know, when he made mistakes because I'm like yo it, it was such a frequent thing at one point but now he's just coming to this role he's a player reborn right now he is 100 a player reborn I'm not saying he's world class I'm not saying he's the best thing ever but I'm telling you right now he has he has upped the level since again being put in this more advanced role where he's able to again make make play happen at a more at, at a more higher position up the field not to be He's not marshalling the back you know, in front of the back line too much. He's not protecting that like or as much as he was as much as he was required to in his previous role. The, the way that he's le- able to pick a pass, connect play, make late runs, you know, be in and around that danger area and create something. He has excelled right now. At, at this point in time, he's excelled. You can't deny that he has excelled and he has put out great performances all throughout the season. Uh, I don't. I don't think he's probably been one of our better players throughout this entire season so far. One hundred percent. I. If there was like uh most improved, of course it's gonna be him. But if it was a top three players of the season, it's definitely a shout for him to be there because he just put out <laughs> an amazing performance today. He he has been doing something like this or the like. And I feel like the only time he had a drop in level, so to speak, is when when Partey wasn't in the squad and he had to again provide more defensive duties with uh uh um what's it called? Uh <laughs> uh I'm blanking on his whole ass name bro please help me so sambi lakanga thank you uh sambi lakanga's uh when when he was in he kind of had to like help him out a little bit be a little bit closer to him so it's insane but listen these guys are on smoke these guys are on smoke and and jaka really could have a redemption story for the ages in terms of club history and even in the premier league bro like and in, 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 if he's here if he's still here in time in, in this next few span a few years and we win the league he he has to have some type of special medal for all this stuff, bro. Like it's crazy. And he was wearing the captain's armband today, and people were cheering his name. Just to think about that turnaround from where we've been like a year or two ago, it's crazy. But listen, that was a fantastic game. So much good stuff to build on. A uh, great run out from the boys. The subs as well. I'm giving them nine just because. Shout out to shout out to Waneri. Um, again, 15 years old. I, I I'm I'm almost like uh, I don't even want to say the number, but I'm older than that dude. And by a good margin, and it, it, it unnerves me. But big ups to him because he is the youngest player to ever feature uh, again for a Premier League match for a club. So that was dope to see. Again, the subs all did well when they came on. Not too much time to work, uh, but yeah, they did their thing. Um, yeah, man. Next up, we have Tottenham after the international break, bro. This is going to be a huge, huge game. Again, I, I think whoever wins it will be you know top of the table for sure, for sure. And that will kind of cut some progress short and some momentum short of the other. So this is one we don't want to lose. This is one we really got to, again, put the pedal to the metal and really press Tottenham over. This I think this one means a lot. I think this one definitely means a lot, like it always does. But I feel like there's some extra incentive with points on the line that are key at the top of the table. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're at the top of the table right now, but it could change. Uh, but yeah, we go into the break. 
uh, take a rest, recover. Hopefully nobody gets injured over the, in these international matches. And we go at Tottenham again. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you all let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of this performance. Whew. Nice kick about with the boys today. Nice kick about with the boys.